Okay. Hi. Hi. Hello, I'm Spencer. And nice to meet you guys. And welcome to MS Australian booth. Okay. And on this on this whole wall, that's actually the key applications for automotive automotive. Okay. So what's uh, happened here? Yeah, for automotive actually uh, MS Australian we have a kind of uh, I mean, the major like uh, two directions. One is uh, for all the light sources. The other direction for all the sensing. Actually, on this tip, on this wall, you show we combine all them together. You know, as a whole. You know, that's like a car models. All the applications mapping. Actually, you see all those green with the with the with the green lights. All those are related with the light source. And uh, those blue ones that's uh, related with the sensing. And uh, for example, like this one. Half of blue and half green. That's basically for. That means that for this application, we combine the light source and uh, sensors together. Okay. So, so you you make uh, you make lights. We make lights. and we also make sensing. Sensing. Okay. Is, is it similar sensing. or it's not similar at all? No, no. no. The Completely lighting different. Lighting is uh, like LED. It's different business. It, I would say yes, different business. More, one side is for emitting, the other side for the all the receiving and not only receiving. Uh, including the processing, okay, including the all the you know basics and optical components behind it to make the whole uh, optical system working like uh, in closed loop, okay. If only the meeting is like an open loop. Now we with the sensing we can combine them as a whole system, okay. And what happened uh, on this scenario here? What okay. are you? What is your role here? Okay, this is uh, mentioning is uh, battery management. That's in Chinese, <laughs> but battery management. Actually, we have very, you know, pr uh, superior performance part. That's basically for battery pack level for the IVT sensing. IVT means uh, current, voltage, and temperature. That's the most important part to secure to secure the safety of the battery battery pack. So wow. That's the sensing we're So you here. you sell on many EVs all over the world. I mean, may, uh, as you know, the China is the old new EV cars, you know, main battlefield. And uh, you know, to be, uh, I'm very proud that uh, basically all the key players right now. They all work with you on this. Yes. Wow. And what's <laughs> happened here? This scenario. This is uh, where it's uh, saying it's a display backlighting. As you know, for the uh, there's uh, many displays inside car, right? Nowadays, you know, from one to three to even five or six, all of those displays, and they need backlight. And besides of OLED, OLED is another direction. But uh, today, so you make LCD backlight? Yes, basically the all the LED lights, you know, behind the mini display. LED also. Mini LED is also one trend of the company yeah. direction. Yes. We're we're working with a lot of uh, major you know OEMs on the mini LED, even the micro LED. Micro LED? Yes. Do, you, do you show some micro LED here? No, because no. it's uh, it's still in early stage. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right. And this is like the atmosphere in the car. Exactly. Like the LED lights. Yes. Exactly. I mean, uh, if you check all the new EV cars and uh, all the atmosphere lighting is kind of part of life because uh, people are taking the interior of car as a you know, third living space, right? So they want to make the light more comfortable and natural and to, to reflect And all the Chinese notion. EV cars, they all use you for this also? Some? Both, uh, and I how mean, about almost international? Just a, just a number of uh, the, the, you know, the volumes, how many lights be used, uh, used inside the car, right? Uh, would it, could it be you know, several to thousands? Thousand lights? Yes. Yes, yeah. that can be different applications, right? Different, uh, you know, easily yeah. can be like, just like change the this button. This is for the, the safety also and have a, the car light up when you brake and everything? Exactly, that's really part of it. Like you see, it's not only showing the color, but also showing the characters and all, uh, even show the animations, right? Oh, wow, so it's like a, a message. Yeah, that can be the part of the communication with the people around the car. You know, right? it should say like, hey, slow down. Exactly. You're too close to me. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Not only on back side, it's also for the front side. Nice. We can also print, you know, also project different symbols and for the safety and for the communication or yeah. different purpose. Maybe you can have a message that says, my car is faster than yours. <laughs> you know, the customer even saying for such kind of lighting, they want to project their own, you know, uh, names or even their own logos. You know, they want to, you know, do something but nice. customize the thing. My Twitter. Yes, exactly. I want to promote exactly. my Twitter Why account. Why not, right? <laughs> and you do just the regular mm. uh, indicators? Yes, that's a regular. That's a, you know, regulation requires, right? You make many of those? Yeah, most of them. You know, like... Most uh, of them? 
I think you know today MS also ran, uh, take you know like a thirty percent of the market share for the you know the globally. world. Yeah, for the world globally. Wow. Yeah. What's the market here? Oh, this is for the magnetic position sensor. That's you know, for example, like a steering wheel, right? Like all the chassis height, you know, like all the paddles inside the car. You always need to measure the angle change, position change, also even the even the motor rotation speed. All those things are required. Such kind of sensor. Yeah, I mean, every car has more than twenty such kind of sensors. What's happened there? This is uh, like a functional lighting, you know, like buttons, you know, like different buttons. They, you know, when you push and, uh, you know, on and off, they have different colors to indicate, right? That's, a, that's normally the functional lighting. Is. And uh, the windshield wiper, it's yeah, only this activate is, uh, when it rains or what? Exactly, that's uh, like a rain sensor, right? Rain sensor, even for tunnel sensor, when you, before you enter into the tunnel, you can automatically light up, you know, the function, the buttons and uh, the displays, all those things. And they can stop swiping when you're in a tunnel. You don't exactly, need... exactly. And what's happened there? Oh, that's for the front side. As you see, the other side is the back side. This is for front side. Front side, front lighting, uh, hand lamp, and a low beam, high beam, and all those things. Yeah. Nice. So here the, at the booth, you have more demos. What yeah. kind of demo you want to talk yeah. about here? Uh, actually, uh, this, this is very interesting. This is uh, for smoke detection. As you as you know, there's a lot of smoke detectors already used, but uh, that uh, cannot identify which kind of uh, smoke really it is because some smoke really, you know, oxidant. Uh, I mean, poison, poison somehow. You know, with this uh, smoke detector, that's the kind of spectral uh, sensing that can, you know, identify which kind of smoke that's really comes into the you know, device. Which kind of smoke? Uh, you know, for example, you know, uh, when you're uh, doing cook, uh, cookings and there's, uh, you know, a lot of uh, smokes, and when you, uh, you know, uh, cigarettes, doing cigarettes, there are also smoke, different kinds it of smoke. It can analyze the smoke, what it is, and the it's different sensors? Spectral sensor. Spectral sensor. Spectrum. Spectrum, spectrum. yeah, spectral oh. sensor. That can depict the spectrum of this kind of... Because the different uh, uh, smokes have different characteristics of the, you know, spectrum. Nice. So with the spectrum, you can identify. Yeah. What's happened there? Well, that's a really for the, as you see, for the s surface disinfection. All those are LEDs. That's a. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yo, oh. It's uh, similar to uh, uh, the nail technicians. They have these uh, UV LED that's things UV. and they put their finger to cure. These are made, you know, more high power thing, you know, compared with the nail things, right? Yeah. These are more high power for the disinfection. Disinfection. Okay. Yes. As Pro many people talk about this last few years. I don't know something. The only thing is that there's not no standard, uh, uh, you know, industry standard for such kind of applications. But it definitely, this uh, nowadays still kind of we know that works, but we don't know how good that could be. That's the problem to today. Yes. All right. What's happened here? Oh, here as uh, you see, this is a standard, a kind of uh, you know, that's like a, a, a light meter. Okay. This is the sensor we made. Okay, the sensor actually here in the center. Okay, and when you compare, it, when you see this uh, uh, screen, you see there's different curves. And one of curves from the standard device, the other curve is from our sensor. As you can see, how close that match together, right? So our sensor is uh, with the integrated diffuser. That basically can uh, reach the same performance level, level as standard lighter with the within you know very small area. That means you know you can integrate such big thing into any portable devices you know, wow. to, for the light detection. This is a professional exactly. photographer kind of That's thing. That's basically for the you know, camera guys, right? Yeah. And soon it will just be in your mobile phone. Exactly. That's the, and will... really the purpose for this. Nice. Yeah. What do we have here? Oh, here is, uh, as you see, there's a uh, that's actually, uh, you know, we call it HUD, right? That's uh, quite a quite a well, you know, uh, uh, mounted actually already in the new EV cars. This, but this one is based on the LBS. I mean, there's a lot of uh, different uh, methodologies to implement HUD. LBS is one of them, and uh, and also LBS uses the laser, not the LED. And uh, with the, but uh, in order, the reason to use LBS is uh, LBS can make the whole, you know, HUD, PGU is uh, very small. That's can lower than 0 point of, 0 po 0 point of 0.5 cc. That's, uh, you know, uh, to make it simple, that can make the uh, volume of the whole module very, very small. For projector? Yeah, even can be integrated into your glass, right? That's a, 
So you can do um, like where are we? Is are. it uh, is it uh, DLP LCAS or? Yeah, that's one of them. This is uh, used based on the laser. The other laser. one is not the laser based. This is laser based. But is it laser DLP laser? No, it's laser uh, LBS. It's a kind of laser LBS. scanning. LBS. Ah. LBS. Yeah, ah, okay. laser beam scanning. All right. That's like point to point and to to have a whole picture. That's uh, but with this the uh, major advantage for yeah. this to make the volume very small can did, be integrated into the glass. Did you already have it in the mass production? That's uh, a not yet. Thing? Not yet. But uh, we are engaging with the key uh, key guys you know, on the prototypes, on the testing. I would like to see this with a with a lens and inside the mobile phone and uh, bright enough to do the whole table. Yeah, that's true. And uh, when my mobile phone, I put it on the. I always wanted to have this. Okay. I put my phone here, okay. and the whole table is oh. a tablet. Okay. Yeah, that's that's maybe that's is also that a good idea. Something you can enable. Yeah, definitely. You need definitely. more light. Yeah, that's what should be brighter. more brighter. My brighter because the environment light is too bright, right? Yeah, you're right. So in that case, you know, the the power of the laser would be even bigger, right? Even more. Because also you don't need to focus. You yes. need to focus yes. or no focus? There's a lens. There's a lens There's in a front. Lens. Yeah. yeah, in front to do the yeah. focus. Yeah. And this, yeah, this is exactly the same thing, but we're showing that you see from the LED light source, from the TO can light laser, and the to today SMT laser, with the major change is we can make the whole you know optical module, engine module, you know, even to this scale. That means you know that's an enable a lot of applications. You know, compared with the before, right? Before the the volume is so big, you it's not easy to integrate it into some portable devices. But now with this, that's an enabled market. Nice. All right. Okay. Okay. And on the other side there, behind. Yeah. Yeah. So I think you you can check this one. Yeah. Yeah. This one is actually inside the box. There's a very small camera is only 1.8 by 2 I mean the size 1.8 by 2 millimeters okay. with a, with a 400 by 400 pixels okay and, oh it's a, maybe it's need to wake up <laughs> yeah as you see that's a that's a ball right but you see the corner especially inside the corners actually this camera is not only image sensor it has all the lenses correction lenses in front that's a very very small uh, size and you, you see the corner it's a very you know it's a no uh, no distortion okay can we look there inside or uh, I don't know if I don't to touch no it's a uh, somehow it's kind of it's very small yeah <laughs> all right yeah Cool. So, so uh, your company is around the world, or yeah, we're a global company. Global. Actually, our, uh, our headquarter actually in Austria. Austria. One headquarter in Austria, the other headquarter in Germany. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So the, we're a totally global company. But you have office here in Shanghai. Yes, we have uh, what do you three do offices here? in Shanghai. What do you do in Shanghai? You know, we we have the local support team, we have the sales team, marketing team, and we have all the function teams. And developing all this. All the development actually, uh, you know, uh, we have a development team in local only for the LED. But for the sensing, all those stuff, a development team actually in Europe and in US, in different locations. Right. Spread it. Hi. Uh, Hi. So please introduce yourself. Yeah, I. This is Barry from uh, MS Ultra. I'm, I'm here. I uh, know I am. I'm going to uh, demonstrate the glasses demo, which used our multi zone top to implement the gesture. So how does so, it work? Uh, let me show it to you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It can uh, implement use the multi zone top to implement the swap left, right, up, down, tap, and double tap. Let me show it to you. This. Swap right, swap left, tap, double tap, yeah, something like this. No, no, yeah, right. So, is it a camera sensor? No, actually, it's a multi zone top sensor. It's a direction top sensor rather than a camera sensor. Time of flight. Yeah, time of flight. It's a 4x4 time of flight. We use it to implement the gesture 
they can use it to, to implement swap left, right, tap, double tap, I don't know. Can you take off this? Yeah. Uh, so, so your product is here? Yeah. This, this one? Yeah, this is a sensor. It's a multi-zone. Detox sensor. It has uh, 16 zones. Yeah, 16 detection zones. All right, this is just uh, another product, no? Yeah, uh, we camera. use the camera to, to check if your gesture is right or not. Right. Yeah. Yeah. This is also use our multi-zone port to implement the gesture. Normally we use it uh, to the, uh, such as laptop. Uh, and the tablet to implement the gesture. Let me show it to you. And measure the intensity of the light. In fact, the illumination is not visible to the human eye. The sensitivity ensures that the necessary amount of illumination has been So it's a similar, right? Yeah. And what do you have here? This is uh, one smartphone uh, from our key customer owner. It uh, use our behind the display ARS and proximity sensor. Yeah. Proximity sensor yeah, proximity. behind the display behind to the turn display. off the display. Yes. yes All right. Correct. It can uh, measure the ambient light. What is a is a honor? This honor. 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 Yeah. In the I uh, water facing. They use our multi zone talk to right. I implement the fast focus and they use our spectral sensor to yeah. assist the AWB, camera AWB. Yeah. Cool. To I to I identify the light source and then make the camera AWB better. Nice. Alright.